you understand their shunning processes and things. So, yeah. your I, name? It, it wouldn't. Well, it wouldn't be right for me to speak against another church, that, especially one that I didn't belong to. Right. That's not right. Right. No, but what I'm saying is, if the Mormons then, if like we were just discussing, I wanted to get it documented. So, if the Mormons, if if a person leaves the Mormon religion to become uh, one of what Jehovah's Witnesses or, or any religion, probably. right? And the Mormons then shun that particular Mormon to join your religion, Jehovah's Witnesses. Then that that those Mormons are correct in shunning their own family members that become Jehovah's Witnesses. That's correct according to Jehovah's Witnesses teachings. That would be correct, although you know we we can't speak for another religious group. Yeah. Uh, the, the Bible in, in in the New Testament or Greek scriptures does speak about avoiding the company of those that uh, that renounce the faith. That they they can be like rocks hidden below water. That's how. Yeah, but aren't the Mormons and Jehovah's Witnesses two different religions? Yeah, they are. Yeah. So then, but then if so, if a Mormon shunning their own family member who becomes one of Jehovah's well, Witnesses. Like you said, we don't get involved in that. We don't talk just down on them one way or another. Right. But according to the scriptures, if a person leaves the faith and goes to another, then they are apostates, according to the scriptures. Well, okay. So what is that apostate? What does that mean? It means a standing away from, literally, apostasia in Greek. Apost I'm not a Greek scholar. A standing away from what? Who? Well, I suppose it could be a standing away from anything, a deliberate, deliberate rejection of. Well, I think what the Mormon would be rejecting would be the prophet, the president. They reject the president of the Mormon religion. I, I guess, I can't So would that, that be true apostasy, to reject... I suppose, I don't know. Well, Seventh-day Adventists, they, um, what, speaking with them, they don't, they, they don't have what, what you call it, what, disfellowshipping, you say? Yes. Yeah, they, what they do, they have a voting process where you can be voted out of the church. And that's the worst fear of a Seventh-day Adventist, to be voted out of the church. If you get voted out of the church, then the other members are not to like have any association. Yeah, they're not to talk to you. And again, what that does is that puts severe pressure on a family, in a family arrangement, if a person... Um, is, is outcast from that type of religion. Would you say the Seventh-day Adventists are a true religion? We don't feel they are. So then if they're kicking people out who don't feel it's a true religion, are they right in doing that? <laughs> oh, that's a good, that's a good question. Um, yeah. You know, every, every religion that claims to use the Bible has a smattering of truth. I mean, the Roman Catholics are correct in uh, opposing abortion. We know abortion is a very unscriptural action. It is taking human life. But that's Excuse me, Chuck. I gotta go in for a second. Yeah, and our bus, our, bus, oh. our bus is about to leave. Okay, okay, okay. But, uh, ha have you ever spoken to a former member of your religion? I have, but um, I try to avoid them because they're they're not just interested in themselves finding some other what they might perceive to be truth. It's just that they're actually interested in tearing down those. They want they want to actually hinder those, like the Apostle John spoke of hindering those. A former member would do that. Oh, absolutely. And the only way you can appreciate... What's your first name again? Craig. Craig. The only way one can really appreciate that is to really understand the modus operandi of Satan the devil. Hmm. There, there really is a devil. And I, I wasn't raised to believe there was a devil. I, I came from a very uh, agnostic uh, community back in New England. Are, are you a leader of Jehovah's Witnesses no. yourself? Are you... Like, do you have a title, position? And well, I'm what's called a ministerial servant, but that's I, by no means a, a leader. I see. Uh, I, do, just, I just help. Do you know if there's any... Um, I, I know, like some religions, use secret publications and have secret meetings within the religions. Does your religion have any secret meetings no, that you know? That of? I know of. Um, There's meetings that I'm not privy to attend because I'm not privileged to attend them, but they're not secret. Really. Like, like what? Well, the elders have meetings if they have to decide on something that that does include everybody. Do they have publications that they use that you aren't privy to? Not that I know of. Okay. You should ask because religions that use secret publications that like you wouldn't have you know as you say you're, you're not privy to mm -hmm. um, are categorized as as being set up like a pyramid um, based on knowledge secret knowledge mm -hmm. uh, the moonies for instance okay, they I remember them. yeah they have meetings that not all the members are privy to and what this does is they front themselves as a united religion you know all united in one yeah. worshiping one god all the same equal but they're actually based on different levels of knowledge and if you're not 
um, involved in those meetings, you really don't know the full scope of the religion you're involved in. For instance, I'll give you an example. Do you 